of you, our real fam, we've been able to squash some of the biggest debates of our time. Mm -hmm. Like, do you wear your bobby pin wavy side up or down? Mm -hmm. The people need to know. And your girls are on the case. <laughs> this is How Do You Do It? <laughs> So curious Look at about that this. graphic. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's really? get right into it. It's recommended we do this at least twice a day. Okay. Brush our teeth. Yes. Please. Please. But Please. To wet the toothbrush or not wet the toothbrush? Is that the question? Ah. We asked you on Instagram before if you brush your teeth, you know, and y'all say, yeah, I'm like, thank God they brush their teeth. <laughs> Come on. But do you first wet the toothbrush and then put the toothpaste on, or do you put the toothpaste on first? And then wet it. Wait, okay. applaud if you wet the toothbrush before. Oh, a sound innovation, okay. All right, we wanted to see what the real, real fam thought, so 76% of you said you wet your toothbrush before, and 24% said you go straight to the pace. How? Is there a right way, Can ladies, you? to do it? How, Sway, how? how? I, I'm like, I, I always I wet it. I just feel like it should be wet. It just feels like that's more sanitary. Like, that's run it under the hot water. hot water. That's yes. what I do. Yes. But I also feel like when you have the water on the bristles, it creates a suds that in, in, in enables the toothpaste the to work to more. Well, what did they say, Janie? So, get ready, <laughs> folks. Reluctantly reading this here, according to Chief Executive of the Oral Health Foundation, Dr. Nigel Carter, the most effective application is to not use water at what? all. What? I know. Not and before or after? And you only need to use, he says, a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. Dr. Carter said, not when you've had I was some about to good say, Vietnamese fish sauce, okay? <laughs> Dr. People Carter. with halitosis, they need no, more than Dr. that. Dr. Carter's breath must really yeah. smell oh, bad. Oh Just say. So Dr. Carter says the water weakens the bristles <laughs> and makes them less effective in cleaning teeth. So there you have it. He says skipping the drip is the best way to have the cleanest teeth, and it's even eco-friendly. Oh, yeah, I'm mad at him. I don't okay. know, man. Is anybody going to change up what they've been doing? No. no. All right, so glad we could help you today. <laughs> Next up is the great sandwich debate. Now, if you are a person who does not cut their sandwich at all, yo, I'm just concerned for your life. Like, that's just strange to me. But hey, we asked you on IG, how do you cut your sandwiches either diagonal or straight down the middle? And let's see what the real fam prefers. 63% of you say, Team Triangle for life! Oh my God, yes. <laughs> and 37% of you say, cut down the middle, then just bite it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's right? Okay, Ladies, who, cuts it? Who, cuts, who cuts it? I, I cut, cut it down diagonally. the middle. <laughs> oh, we're going to fight today. No. no. Oh. I, okay, if it's for pretty, like, food presentation, diagonal is prettier. Yes. For but, sure. But for, like, driving and you're riding a bike, like, I ride a bike and eat a sandwich. Yeah. Like, I just want it half because it just keeps like, easy. That's, that's not that's safe. That, uh, that's a safety problem. Yeah. So when it's easy, when it's it safe, when it it easy to safe. hold for kids? Yeah. When you do no, rectangles? No, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I would do triangle, triangle because it's okay. easier to bite. They but have tiny little mouths. But if it's a bun, though, you can only if it's cut a it a certain... Well, if it's a hamburger, I mean, yeah. what do you know? Yeah. It's always going to be like... So <laughs> well, you guys, yeah. according to NPR and Gourmet.com, food editor Kemp Minifee, triangles are aesthetically See? more pleasing. See? Aesthetically? Yeah. That's not and a real purpose. It's better for eating oh. because the narrower corner allows the sandwich to enter your mouth easier, creating less of a mess Into on your, your mouth. face. So yes. Kevin Harris of NPR adds that the diagonal cut exposes more of the interior of the sandwich, uh -huh. and by exposing the interior, it engages more of your senses. This is true. This is true. Before you Think take the Arby's first Arby's bite, commercial. you know? Excited grilled this. cheese. I'm thinking of a yes. grilled cheese Ooh, right yes. now. Oh, no, no. But <laughs> lastly, the amount of surface area without crust is amplified when cut and eaten diagonally. Okay. So, if you don't enjoy crust, Diagonal is a must. You see how I did that? Nice, that nice. That was Drake, good. Thank you, thank you very much. Impressive. 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 Drake, Drake, triangles are also Lyricist. better. Wait, no, hear this up. Triangles are also better for dipping. You have oh, yeah, more, so more about why the triangle? Yes, yes. The the triangles, triangles, people. And don't be a square. Cut your neck, oh, Sammy. My okay. 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 Nice. I will say, though, whenever I make sandwiches for the family, <laughs> Mama Mai always said, the way you cut look cheap, the other way look expensive. Yes. Well, that's true. And that's, yes. That's how you do it. <laughs> we may not do everything the same, but always remember, you guys, just do you. No.